Everybody and welcome to another edition of the McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour brought to you by Black and Positively Golden. I am your host Lonnie Hunter and I'm telling you right now, you are not even close to ready for what I got for you today. Now last week, the Chicago City playlist was off the chain and it left us speechless. So if you missed it, I got a little something for you this week. Yes, sir, Detroit is about to do what only Detroit can do. The generational legacy in Detroit is just mind blowing to start with, and we got it all set for you. 14 years, can you believe it? 14 years of gospel music all over this country, and this year we get to shift it a little bit and bring it to you virtually. So uh, you're in the right place at the right time for the Clark Sisters. Four, Kiara Kiki Sheard. Four, Karen Clark Sheard and Tasha Paige Lockhart. Keep it locked, keep it set, stay right where you're at. We got it, let's go. Adrian Smith, McDonald's owner operator. And on behalf of the National Black McDonald's Owners Association, I'm excited to welcome you to the 14th annual McDonald's Inspiration Celebration Gospel Tour. Powered by our Black and Positively Golden Movement, uplifting the black community through initiatives that provide opportunities for the next generation of leaders taking steps today to own tomorrow now let's hear from detroit's very own mcdonald's black owner operator joni thrower hey detroit i'm joni thrower davis welcome to the detroit stop on the inspiration celebration gospel tour sponsored by mcdonald's 
I am the proud owner of four Metro Detroit McDonald's restaurants, and even more proud to serve as the Vice President of the Michigan McDonald's Owner Operators. Together, our Michigan McFamily, as we call it, includes 80 small business owners just like me, and more than 23,000 McDonald's employees. In Michigan, we serve people and communities in about 500 locations throughout the state. The 2020 ICGT has an incredibly special meaning this year as we gather in our homes or in places where we worship. It allows us during these very complicated times to take time out for an evening of love, laughter, and music. And even more important, it allows us to celebrate and support the work being done by Ronald McDonald House Charities here in Detroit. Our Ronald McDonald House is directly connected with Children's Hospital of Michigan. The house offers a home away from home for several hundred families each year. The McDonald's Black and Positively Golden Movement is designed to uplift the communities we serve. It aims to help individuals and organizations take real action to revive, protect, and strengthen our culture. It's about using education and entrepreneurship to help build and grow the next generation of Black excellence. And most of all, it gives us an opportunity to share stories of truth, power, and pride. There's nothing more powerful than gospel music serving as a platform for us to share and communicate this movement. Recently, McDonald's also funded a $500,000 Black and Positively Golden Scholarship Fund. This is a way for us to help students attending HBCUs continue their education right now, this fall, despite the impacts of COVID-19. And right here in Michigan, every one of our McDonald's restaurants is offering the chance for educational growth through our Archways to Opportunity program. Archways allows a crew or manager at our restaurants the opportunity to earn up to $3,000 per year in college tuition assistance. This is set to support individuals who work as little as 15 hours per week. For over 30 years, I've seen firsthand the opportunity that McDonald's provides. McDonald's Black and Positively Golden has uplifted Detroit and will continue to do so with the 2020 ICGT. And with our commitment to serve our community, employees, and of course, the families of the Ronald McDonald House. I invite you to sit back or rise up and celebrate Detroit's rich legacy of gospel music with some of the biggest names in the industry. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy the show. Since 1974, Ronald McDonald House Charities has helped families save nearly $100 million each year on meals and lodging because we believe that no family should have to deal with their child's medical crisis alone. And thanks to your generous support, they don't have to. The greatest impact that gospel music has had, which has been the foundation of music, especially in Detroit. Because when artists come to Detroit, they know they gotta bring it. Um, Detroit is very critical of, of music because there's so much music involved. You got Hit Town, you got uh, the, the uh, um, Martha Reeves, you got um, the Supremes who all got their initial start from Detroit. So, so I think our heritage and the reason why it's so hard to come to Detroit is because so many great singers um, came out of Detroit. The impact that gospel music has had in Detroit, I would say it has everything to do with how we work together when it's time to produce something. We want to push out something that is great. We are totally for um, going above and beyond. And like, you know, I'm talking with my fist in my hand like that. It's like that's our way of dealing with each other and serving one another. Um, I think when you think about music, you think about those sheds you're going to hear gospel music in even a shed of musicians that are probably there to feature mainstream artists or play for mainstream artists. It's gospel music everywhere. Whenever you come to Detroit, you're going to have a gospel moment because that is us to our core. Karen Clark Sheard. <laughs> she, is he she is heaven's soprano. She is the voice. Karen Clark Sheard, I'm talking about her like she's not my mom. Karen Clark Sheard will do a run and she'll run you all the way down from the top of the scale all the way down to the bottom. Her range is it's insane. Karen is, she was a phenom soprano. You know, she could do anything with her voice. Her sound and her tone and the richness of her voice, even to this day, uh, is something that, that is definitive 
of what greatness in gospel looks and sounds like. And you know what's even more? She's one of my favorite people. She's just a good person. is. 
I'm a witness that he'll come through. Oh yeah, I got that testimony of him being an awesome God and a God that heals and delivers just as he done it for me. Somebody need to know that he can do it for you. Oh yes, he can. There's no problem. There's no situation that God cannot handle. That's why we call him the great, awesome, and mighty God. That's why I got to always make sure I'm in his presence. Because when we in his presence, we find joy. You find peace. Or we can go down the list. You can find deliverance. Oh yeah, if you need healing of the heart, God can heal you. That's why I have to admonish him by letting him know that even when the heavens are telling of God and his glory, we serve a mighty God. Oh yes, we do. A mighty God we serve. I want to minister to you today. The heavens are telling of God and his glory. A mighty God we serve. We speak of his character, awesome creation. 
you ought to try it. I know we serve a mighty God because when the doctors gave up on me, hallelujah, nobody but this awesome God came into my rescue. Right where you are in the midst of this pandemic, you got to know you go to God in secret prayer. He'll come to your rescue. That's why we serve what a mighty I got to get out of here. What a mighty God. Hallelujah. What a mighty. What an awesome God. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. I couldn't call on no one else but you. Oh, what a mighty God we serve. Oh, come on, you ought to just worship him today. Oh, we serve a great mighty God. He's God over whatever your situation is. You're mighty. You're awesome. Oh, I can't find nobody like you. What a mighty, mighty God we serve. Family, it's not just about music ministry. As you know, ministry carries a whole lot under its umbrella. We've got time, we've got talent, we've got resources, we've got giving, and we want to give you an opportunity to be a blessing to somebody else. These Detroit families, they almost depend on what you do as a donation to the Ronald McDonald House charities because the Ronald McDonald House provides them services for absolutely nothing. We're talking about free and you can be a big part of what that looks like so that they can keep top of mind the one thing that matters to them and that is their sick child this pandemic family has wreaked havoc over the city over the nation seen and unseen but guess what we are more than conquerors home it's about more than four walls and a roof it's about comfort safety and having peace of mind. That's why we help families who are far from home stay close to their hospitalized child without incurring hotel and food costs because no family should have to deal with their child's medical crisis alone. The Black and Positively Golden Movement is launching a new series, pairing today's leaders in music and more with tomorrow's change makers. But before we bring Kiara Kiki Shear to the stage, we thought it not robbery to introduce you to what she is already doing through her own mentorship program. Check this out. The sister mentorship is basically me having a passion for young adults, youth and young adults. But knowing what the village has done for me, like when I have life questions, and sometimes we, we my parents are my best friends, so they know everything. But you all know how we are with our parents. We want to go to somebody else just to make sure my parents aren't being biased. And so having that village and knowing that you're safe there, I've always wanted to provide that for young women. And in this mentorship, I found that there are a lot of young women who can't find that village that will give them sound advice. The Bible says in the multitude of counsel, there's safety. And at once upon a time, I, I kind of wanted to just figure it out on my own. But the Lord convicted me and said, it's okay to ask questions. That's why I put people there for you. Sometimes the voice of God is through people and good relationships. And so that's my passion. Um, basically wanting to be a solution. Not saying that I know it all, but even if I got to go search for it and find it for you because I want to see you win. So that's what sister mentorship is all about. What motivated me to start it is my dating life. Uh, because that's the stuff that I didn't always want to go to mama and daddy about. And I can say that I confided in some women who didn't match what I knew was right. 
And so because I took heed to their counsel and because I thought they were older and all of this other stuff, it was contrary to what I needed to have as far as my direction because I was a woman of faith. So I needed to match more with other women of faith. Um, so that was what drove me. I wanted to show that it's possible to connect with other women of faith that are not corny, but that can be transparent, that won't give off, oh, I'm perfect and, you know, oh, just so holy, but I can keep it real with you and hold you down. But at the same time, when you need me to do a, a prayer that's going to pray you through, get you to Jesus and cast out demons, I can do that too. What sets my sisterhood or sister mentorship apart is that I'm actually hands-on with them. Like I literally have developed personal relationships with these young women. And some of them have even come to my house because I'm so generous and I, I just want to see them win. Um, I think that's what sets us apart. And it is that I'm so hands-on. Some of my best friends, they have their numbers and they come to the church. I think some of them have even connected with my mother and have her number. So it's not just something I'm trying to put on. In the first few years, actually all of the years that we started, I've not received the profit. It's literally just been me serving these young women ministry and doing whatever I can. Um, so that's what sets us apart. And it is the, the, the heart piece. It is our heart to really serve and see these young women win. Kiera Sheard, chip off the old block. Mm, 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 mm. Next level. She's taking what the Clark sister did and what her mom did and uh, taking it to the whole next level. She has the voice of the millennials of this generation. She is the changing of the guard. Uh, she, she has successfully uh, been able to not only navigate from a musical standpoint, social media standpoint, but she's also a business guru. It's refreshing to see that an immensely gifted person that has an immensely just loving character.
minutes. God has been blessing me. There's a declaration that I've been making over my life that is going to keep happening for me. I've been speaking over my life that great things are going to keep happening for me. And I hope that you would believe God's word as I have been doing. And I believe his word when he says that there is power of life and death in our tongues. Things can happen by our faith. So some people have been looking at me strange because I've been speaking things that don't seem possible because I know I serve a God that can do the impossible. I've just been talking about it like it's already happening. So I want you to sing this song with me and start declaring over your life that it's going to keep happening for me. Yes. I said, my seed is blessed. My money is blessed. My God was getting ready to do some great things in my life. I didn't want him to leave my family and friends out. So I said, I'm covering my family. I'm making bad decisions. Destroying every addiction. It keeps happening for me. Yes, Lord. I dare you to have the audacity to believe what we're speaking right now. I said, I'm not going to apologize about God's favor. I won't apologize. No more feeling guilty about this God being. That is happening for me. And I said, you know what, God? I accept what you're doing in my life. I'm not going to try to minimize things so I can make other people feel better. If you're giving me big, I'm going to take the big. I said, I accept your blessing. 
child is sick, the uncertainty can be overwhelming. That's why Ronald McDonald House Charities envisions a world where all children have access to reliable medical care and support, where families can find hope, encourage, and stay together. Grace and peace, my brothers and sisters. I'm Bishop Charles H. Ellis III, Senior Pastor of Greater Grace Temple here in Detroit, Michigan. We call our beautiful 20-acre campus the City of David. And I just wanted to give you a word of encouragement on today, even in the midst of this pandemic time. It's a health crisis like we've never seen before, and I guess the world has not experienced this in probably more than 100 years. But here we are, we're in the midst of it, and I just wanted to encourage you on today to know and to believe that God is in control even when things seem to be out of control and chaotic. And I know every day you wake up, sometimes we don't know what to expect. We don't know what's going on. Not only are we in the pandemic time and health crisis, but the world is so divisive right now and just seems to be wickedness and evil everywhere. But listen, it all begins, the change that is, with you. You have to wake up every single morning and determine that you are going to bless the Lord, you're going to give him honor and praise and understand that whatever day it is, whether it's raining, whether it's sunshine, whether it is wickedness, whether it's evil or whether it's peace, it's the day that the Lord has made. Now, what are you going to do? I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. You have to see the positive side of realities. The reality is that, yes, it's dark right now. Yes, we're in jeopardy right now. But the positive side is that God is still in control. I want you to know that you can have the peace of God if you wake up every morning and determine that God is rule in, in charge, God is ruling today, and God is the author of my future and my destiny. What God has for you, it is for you. So you have to wake up and determine that you're going to make the most of each and every day and let the Lord take care of the rest. I want to give a shout out to Detroit and to the administration that is doing everything they can to ease the burden during this pandemic time to all of our essential workers and those who put themselves on the line just to keep us safe. We love you. We're praying for you. And I want to thank all the Black McDonald's owners who are being so very generous and benevolent during this time of pandemic. You don't have to do it, but you do it because you have the love of God. We love you and we pray that you continue to be safe and secure and know that Bishop Ellis and Greater Grace Temple, we love you to life. Be safe. Tasha Page Lockhart, insane, a generational ability that is not normal. She's just crazy. She's a gift, man. I mean, she's, she's just a crazy singer. I mean, her testimony of what she's had to come through to get to where she is today. I think that that's, that's what's most impressive to me. Tasha is amazing. She's insane and I, I am floored at all that God is doing in her life. She's, in, she's crazy. Whether it's in front of five people or whether it's in front of 50,000 people, and Tasha is that. I mean, her story, her journey, just all that God has brought her through and now is allowing her to be a, a tangible example of what God will do.
Somebody tell me what to do Why did I do it? Why did this happen to me? You can get through it You just have to believe What I do now Gotta make it all count So why not me? I'm the perfect person to go through this storm It won't break me, it won't kill me I'll move on Then I'll come out even better than before And I'll never see this place in me Oh, 
parent dreams of watching their little boy or girl grow up to be healthy and strong, to run far and jump high. But a single diagnosis can change everything. That's why Ronald McDonald House Charities has supported families around the world, providing all the comforts of home for more than 45 years. Yet, because the need is so great, more than 138,000 families are turned away each year, a number that has grown since the COVID-19 pandemic. That's hundreds of thousands of families who won't get the comfort of sleeping just steps away from their child's hospital, or the compassion of caring volunteers and staff, or the peace of mind of staying together during their toughest season of life. But today, you can help. Ronald McDonald House Charities relies on volunteers and donations to keep their mission going. And there's no better time than right now to get involved. Your gift today means one more family will have the stress of their financial burdens erased and one more family will receive the gift of togetherness. So give now, because no family should have to deal with their child's medical crisis alone. Now family, here we are at the part where you play the biggest part. It's the giving. We have been blessed to be a blessing. I know you understand that. And that's why we are coming to you right now with this great opportunity to sow a seed into the Ronald McDonald House Charities. What your seed does is it allows the Ronald McDonald House Charities to purchase locally, to buy locally, to do things so that we, we, we lessen the risk. Because as you know, in this pandemic, the health risks are huge, especially for these families and for these sick children. So all that we can do to lessen that risk is what we want to do through you through your donation. You hear me? So the website is below. Log on, follow the prompts, and give. When you talk about uh, just, just the pantheon of uh, just icons that have, that have cemented not only their, their, their name, but their sound and their stamp on on what contemporary gospel looks like. The Clark sisters have been just iconic. What can you say? They are the epitome of living legend. I mean, when you talk about setting the, the, the framework, the groundwork, the foundation for so many artists. There are four names that are basically the the, the originators of what we know in the 21st century of urban gospel music. It's 
Hawkins. It's Crouch, Winans, and Clark Sisters. That is, that is what we know now to be the Mount Rushmore of gospel music. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. The Clark Sisters would like to declare victory in your life. Can we speak it? And high 
highly favored. Yes. Can we put that in your life as Hallelujah. well? Yes. We are blessed. Just tell somebody in your living room, your kitchen, Thank wherever you, you are, Hallelujah. that we are blessed and highly, highly favored. favored. Lord.
God, give him praise because if it had not been for the Lord on your side, you would not be blessed right now. Just to know that you've got unemployment coming, that's a reason to give him praise. Just to know that you've got a roof over your head, that's a reason to give him praise. Just to know you got clothes on your back, that's the reason to give him praise. Just to know that the fire truck didn't come down your street, that's another reason to praise him. Just to know that you could be in the hospital. Oh, but God made a way and allowed grace and mercy to overtake your home. That's a good place to open up your mouth and give God some praise right where you are. You owe him some praise. If it had not been for God keeping us in this pandemic, we wouldn't be where we are right now. So that's right now. I, I just need, I just need y'all right now just to lift your hand and say, Lord, I thank you for another day. Another day, another day, another day, another day that you kept me. Uh -huh. Folk have fallen by the wayside even the last five months, but God kept you. Just the mere fact that you got your eyes open, that's a good place to give him praise. Just the mere fact of your walking, putting one foot in front of the other and not need no help. That's a good reason to give him praise. Just to know that God has favored you. And the reason why he's favored you is because he see where you're about to go. That's a good place to give him praise. I need everybody all over the world to clap your hands. Give God some praise for what he's about to do in your life. Yes. Blessed and highly favored. Yes. Yea, though I walk through the valley and the shadow of the death, oh, yes. I fear no evil. Why? Because thou art with me. And because he's with me, guess what? Yes. My redeemer yes. certainly lives. Yes. If you know your Redeemer lives, I need you to get up and just turn around right where you are. Just turn around right where you are. If you know your Redeemer lives because he lives inside of you. If it's on the inside of you, honey, something's got to come out.
feeling family i know you someplace passed out speaking in tongues doing all kinds of stuff but i need you to pull yourself together because <laughs> we got to get out of here but before we leave i gotta say thank you to the clark sisters karen clark sheer kiera kiki sheared and tasha page lockhart for making today incredible now of course you know we're two steps in right this is the Gospel City Playlist. So if you've already decided which city you like so far, you can let us know. All you got to do is use the hashtag on Instagram, Black and Positively Golden. Hashtag Black and Positively Golden. We got two cities left, though, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Atlanta is next, and then we head over to Dallas. So if you want to wait, fine. But if you want us to know how blessed you are from this program, holler at us on Instagram, all right? Don't forget, use the hashtag Black and Positively Golden. I am Lonnie Hunter, your virtual host, baby, and I will see you next time. Go on.